Greetings guys, what's going on? Rocker Buck here with another crazy pig video. Uh, as you can see, I got a pretty nice garden going back there. Got me some carrots and wheat, and potatoes, and even some melons. But, uh, you know, in reality, it's taken up a lot of space. And I have some plans for some builds in the future, and I really want to, you know, cut things down a bit. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to show you a really compact redstone wheat, potato, and carrot farm. And this thing really cranks the crops out. So I'll tell you what I'll do uh, to keep you from falling asleep while you watch me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut and clean all of this up. All right, I got all that taken care of. Now before I get started on this build, I really gotta tell you guys, I am not a redstone expert repeat not a redstone expert as a matter of fact when it comes to redstone I am an absolute doofnagel I don't know anything I couldn't tell you the difference between a T flip flop and a monostable circuit I just know how to build a few simple things I put them together and they work and that's good enough for me and if that's good enough for you then hey <laughs> we're good to go right so Let's see if we can get this done without much hassle, all right? Okay, so uh, this really doesn't take up a whole lot of space. In reality, it takes up about a three by five area. And if you're really hurting for space, that'll do you pretty good. So uh, without further ado, let's see if I can uh, get this thing built for you guys. Okay, first of all, you wanna start with a stone slab followed by a block of your choice followed by a dirt block then go two more up on either side and you want to put a dispenser facing in this way and a dispenser facing in this way then you want to take a lever and put it down here in the lower right hand corner so far so good yep looks good to me now what you want to do is grab yourself some of this handy old redstone lay down a piece of dust then you want to put down a redstone comparator not repeater a comparator and put it facing out this way and you want to set this little button out here to subtract mode what it's subtracting i don't know i just know that's your way you're supposed to do it and you want to put a piece of stone or whatever your block of choice here then you want to add two more pieces of dust and I guess this makes some kind of clock I don't like I said I don't know I just make this stuff because it's fun now you want to put a block down there a block down there a block there you want to make a temporary block to do that and let me grab my pick Get rid of this guy okay and now what you got here is you got a container for your water now um, we're gonna put another block over here and two more blocks here and then we're gonna put a temporary block right here we're gonna jump down go around grab another dispenser and put it right there so it covers the water now we can pop this one here and there we go that looks pretty good and you know what I think just for looks yeah I think that looks a lot better so uh, what we're gonna do then is you want to run redstone dust across the top now when it comes to the dispenser you have to hold shift and right click it otherwise if you just right click it you're going to access the dispenser menu and you don't want to do that now finish running the redstone dust down to here which completes some kind of circuit and what we can do is test out and see if it's working oh yeah the ticking means we got it going on so that pretty much wraps all the uh, circuitry work up now what you want to do if you like is fall off of that just like I did oh, way to go fuck nice job uh, put a slab down here remembering to press shift <clears throat> okay slabs down here 
come back around, put another slab here, one down, and it's pretty much good to go. Now, you're missing one more little critical element, and that is bone meal. So, grab some bone meal, and we're going to add a couple stacks in here not too many because I just want to show it off but uh, this is uh, bone meal consuming so what we've got here is we have some seeds and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our machine on and try planting it and it says we get a green thumb fail so apparently that's not happening. <laughs> well, guys, leave it to me. Only I could screw things up like I just did. I forgot a really important element. I forgot to take my little gardening doohickey. Uh, uh, the hoe, yeah, the hoe, that's it. I forgot to take the hoe. And I forgot to step up here and till the soil. Ugh. All right, I did that. I tilled the soil. So let's turn this thing on and see what happens again. Okay, we got our ticking. Now I start planting the seeds. And you can see I'm getting seeds back. And let's check our inventory. We've got some wheat, but... Ah, there we go. And you can see my wheat climbing. And I'm getting wheat out like crazy. Well, I'm not crazy, but I'm getting wheat. And the nice thing about it is, is here on the Crazy Pig server, if you pick Farmer as a job, you can see I'm getting paid $16.89 every time this comes up. So I'm not only hitting crops, I'm making money. And uh, yeah, we all like to do that. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to shut the machine off. And I'm going to say, <laughs> that, oh geez, I really goofed. But you know what? That's what makes it funny. And I'd say it's live, but it's not. But you know what? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I had a really good time. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, uh, leave me a comment, uh, hit the like button. And if you can, subscribe. Because, uh, you know, I can keep doing more of these because I'm having a blast. I don't know about you. So, uh, you know, with that, I'm going to say see you later, guys.